Hey cute people, yes I am doing a video and it's a whole video, one of my favorite videos to watch and one of my favorite videos to record. As you guys know, I am in my empty abode, I'm still in my empty abode. I don't know when I'm going to get my furniture. I hope I'll be getting it soon because where I am right now, this is my dining area and I can't wait to get my table in here so that I can sit in here sometimes and look out the window and look at nothing really. But yeah but right now i'm in front of a big window and i have a big window on the side over here so i've got some kind of light coming in if i had done this earlier like i anticipated i would have had a lot of light but i have some light so i'm going to continue with my haul as i may have mentioned before i like tj maxx this is a great store and i'm sure you all love it but believe it or not when i go to tj maxx i don't even go into the um, clothing section i go right to the home decor and I've been to TJ Maxx once in New York on 34th Street. Yeah. And since I've been down here, I've been to TJ Maxx three times in New Bern, North Carolina. I know, I know. If I had more money to burn, I would be in there much, much more. But I picked up something that I had to get. I, like I mentioned, my things being in New York, I don't have um storage. I don't even have all my clothes. I don't have a lot of things but one thing i wanted to be able to do was display my jewelry really really beautifully and elegantly right and um i saw this yeah and um i really had to have it now when i saw it the first day the first time i didn't pick it up i left it at tj maxx yes yeah, dusty because i had it sitting out um and i didn't clean it but once I get everything together, I'm going to clean it in the next couple of days and make it look really cute. But I had to have this. They had four. The other one was another color, but I can't remember. This one here is like an iridescent. It may not be coming off that way, but um, it's an iridescent um, finish. And this here, although it looks like glitter, if you can tell, the glitter doesn't come off. But what it feels like is um, a version of maybe sandpaper, and they may have sprayed it. So think about that for a DIY. Get some sandpapers, spray painted some pretty color, glitter color, and do something with it. But this is what it looks like, and it's so cute. I just had to have it. I was surprised when I went back. It's by Tahari Home. When I went back, they still had it because a lot of times I go to the TJ Maxx here, they only have one of something. Then when I go back, and uh, after I talk myself into getting it, it's not there. And they have some beautiful stuff gorgeous stuff for your home but this is what i picked up and i can't wait to um get everything together because i think i hold another um jewelry holder i had um in a previous video so i'm gonna get everything together and i don't know where i'm gonna sit because i don't have a dresser but i'm gonna do something and it was only 16.99 not bad right really really pretty i love it it's so gorgeous and i just put one little necklace on here just to see um I don't know why I did it because it's not really to see what it looked like because it doesn't look like anything. Now, when it comes to jewelry, I like a lot of you women, we have a lot of jewelry, right? So I needed some more um, ways to store my jewelry. So I picked up this from Amazon. Let me show you. This. I had been looking for some type of acrylic um, jewelry hanger and... Um, Amazon has a lot to choose from. This one here I had on my wish list. It was like $12 to $14. So being it was on my wish list, once the price went down to $6.95, I believe it was $6.95, I got a little alert and I said, let me go ahead and get this. I thought this was so cute. And here's another picture of what it will look like, if you can see that much. But I really, really had to have it. Now, it's, whole, it's supposed to hold... 260 pairs of earrings, which is 130 pair of earrings. And you could also put, um, hmm. oh, I'm knocking stuff over. You can also put on um, necklaces and post earrings. So as you can see, here's what it looks like. It's pretty big, pretty big. Um, there's some holes here. I don't know if you can see them. Some holes there where you can hang it. Oh, wait. Am I wrong? Yeah, I am wrong. Those are not holes for hanging. That's just part of 
<laughs> the acrylic. But anyway, they have the little grooves here where you can stick your hanging earrings. And then it has the hole where you can put your post if you like. If you have some necklaces, you can, um, of course, hang your necklaces on the little grooves here. And what I like about it is that it folds up. So if your stuff is not too bulky and you want to travel with it or just keep it in your drawer and you don't want to display it, you can just fold it up like an accordion. But if you want to be fancy with it and get real cute and have all your stuff out for people to see, you can um, do this with it. Mm -hmm. And I really thought it was really cute for six dollars, and it it feels good for six dollars. It's um, not flimsy or anything. If I remember, I'll try so hard to put the um, seller's name um, in the description box because I really really like this here. Now another thing I picked up because I love giving myself pedicures. I picked this up here, and I should have cleaned it, but I didn't. As you can see, it's an inflatable. Um, foot tub and it's by Dr. Tills. I would show you. Let me see. So I didn't clean it. I should have cleaned it. Look real quick. I'm going to flash it. Dr. Tills. Okay. So <laughs> this here is like a royal blue. I'm not sure what the color may be coming off as, but it is so cute, isn't it? Look. And um, it's deep enough. You blow it up. You see there the mouthpiece. You blow it up there. And then you also have a place here on the bottom where you blow it up. Let me see if I can find it. Because the bottom is a little cushiony. It's not really flat. So when you um, have your feet in it, you got a little bit of cushion. So, okay, here's the bottom. So you blow it up twice. And um, I really like it. You see the little cushion here? I really like it. I've used it a couple of times. I didn't clean it the last time. So it's a little filthy. But it's really, really great, you know, for a quick... Um, pedicure and um, just soaking your feet if that's what you want to do and especially because you may not have the um, electric one um, I think it's like six or seven dollars I'll include this link also but I think it's really really cute and I love it it only comes in one color it would really be pretty if it came in yellow and green and pink okay so that's what I got from amazon.com great place for beauty jewelry storage and all that other stuff now the um last video i did i believe i mentioned to you guys they put a sephora um in the mall jacksonville mall which is not very far from me so when i saw the um store i just went crazy i did not know what to do i went inside it's really small really tiny tiny but they were having a sale at that time on a lot of urban decay things so i picked up um this lipstick here and it was only eight dollars and fifty cents so i went on and got it they had some other colors but most of them seemed to all be red yeah i don't think they had any browns or purples violets anything everything seemed to be red because i very much sure when people saw that um, Urban Decay's lipsticks were on sale, they went crazy. So this is what it looks like. And I love Urban Decay's packaging. So I got this here. My color is Wonderland, and it's a cream color. And here is what it looks like. If you can see it much. It's a red color, and it's really, really pretty. I like it. I don't know why... Um, I picked red because I don't wear reds an awful lot. I wear reds, but not an awful lot. And then if you purchase something from Urban Decay, you get the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. I'm a sample, so I got this one. And I I really made the purchase so I can get this for free. Let me just tell you it too. And it was great because they did have something I wanted to try, which was their lipsticks because I don't have one. Here's a little sample it's enough in here it's a lot in here it lasts a long time um i've used urban decay before the perp the um primer potion so i'm looking forward to at least trying this one because i don't know which one i tried but at least i can try that one in another place that i purchased something from um they had a sale i can't remember exactly what it was but it was black opal now, Black Opal, as you know, is sold in a drugstore here in North Carolina. I cannot find it. So if I want something from Black Opal, I'll either have to wait till I get to New Haven, New York, or just order online. So I figured since they had a great sale and I had purchased some um, skincare items for a family member, I figured I'll just go ahead and get um, 
a foundation from them because I wanted to try it. And this one here is their Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. I got the color Nutmeg, 420 Nutmeg, and I think I may have made a mistake with the color. That's why usually I don't order um, foundations online, but I wanted to try this for me. I wanted to try something from Black Opal, so I got this one here. And I'm hoping that the color won't be too off. I can kind of work with it. And it has a pump, which is great. The bottle is plastic, which is okay with me. I can't remember exactly how much this cost. It was like maybe 9 or $10, and I believe I got it for 50% off. So I only pay... Or maybe I got it for 60% off. But it wasn't very expensive. And then they sent this to me. Um, some samples of their Color Spurge Matte Lipsticks. Which I love, love, love matte lipsticks. So I got this here. And I can't wait to try it. Especially these two colors right there. Oh, maybe even this one too. But especially these two colors. Which is Fashion Fuchsia. This is called Rich Red, but I'm not sure why. Let me make sure I'm looking. Oh, no, I'm wrong. This is Iris. Iris and Jazzberry. And I mentioned that brown color, which is Misfit. I can't wait to try these. And um, I, will, I really can't wait to try the um, foundation. Like I mentioned, I think it's off a little bit for me, but I'm still going to try it. I looked at my blush collection, which is not very large, and it seems like all my colors are the same, either plumish, burgundy, wine-ish. So I wanted something different. I was in um, Walmart, and I came across this one here, CoverGirl Cheekers. And it's not coming off true to color. This is really like um, Well, when I saw it, it made me think of something rustic, like a rust color. But the thing is that it kind of looks like all the other ones I always pick. I thought I was getting something a little bit different, but it looks the same. I don't know. But what, what made me really buy it, because it wasn't expensive at all. It's kind of hard to get on. My skin, you see, it came on very, very light, so that's good because I don't like to have too much blood showing, you know, just a little bit. And I mean, a little bit when I go out, it's do, 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 do. but um, this color here is rock and roll, so I guess maybe the lighting in the store was a little bit different than um, <laughs> what I was actually looking at. I gotta look at this again because it looks more rosy now. Another place that I um, place an order with. And I like their makeup, but I've never tried any of their foundation, so I um, bought some stuff from NYX. Yeah. And they sent me these little stickers, which is so cute. Be a part of the makeup crew, y'all. And um, you get some rewards depending on how much you spend. Um, you spend $40, spend $75, spend $150, and you get rewards. But they don't have to worry about me because I believe my whole order may have come up to $20 some odd dollars, and I ain't spending too much more of that with them, especially this year. So this is the pretty bag it came in. You see it says NYX. I love this bag. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use it for something. Now, I picked up one item i think i got about six different things here because this was also on sale and i can't remember what the sale was but trust me when i tell you it was worth my while because i believe my order only came up to maybe 21 to 26 dollars if i'm telling the truth so the first thing that i want to show you guys i picked up the nyx stay matte but not flat liquid foundation and another thing too i'm kind of mad at myself that i picked up these foundations because i don't wear makeup like i used to i think i mentioned it to you guys and um i already have enough foundation that i didn't need to buy any more i wasn't supposed to buy any more foundations until i used up at least one of the ones that i have just one then i said i can buy another one but I didn't stick to that. It's like you go in cycles. If you're like me, you go in cycles. Like one day you'll fall in love with all the eyeshadow palettes you see and you want to buy them all. Then um, it'll switch to maybe nail polishes and you want to get a, 
a whole bunch of them. For me, for some reason, I seem to be fascinated now with um, foundations, but this is what I picked up. So I have this in the color. Let's see what the color is. Chestnut. And this is the foundation. So like I mentioned, I still don't like to buy foundations online, but this was the closest, um, I think, to me. So I can't wait to try it. A lot of these things I'm going to try. And as you can see, I don't know why I did that because it's not a pump, right? But I got that. And I can't wait to try it. And I also picked up, yep, another foundation. Like I don't have any sense. I picked up the um, Mineral stick foundation yeah and this i have in the color well it says 11 warm almond okay so i picked up warm almond and let's see and here it is okay that's what the color mm -hmm. that's what the color looks like and i am going to try this one real soon um like I mentioned, I don't wear foundations as much as um, I used to anymore. So I am going to chill out with my foundations. Now this here in the box, this one here is the Matte Powder Foundation. I also picked this up in Nutmeg. Let me see if I can open it up and show you guys. Okay, stay matte but not flat, y'all. Here it is. Stay matte but not flat, y'all. And it's a great feeling compact, that's for sure. And it has a mirror. Here is the foundation pan. And you have a little sponge in here. And this is the Z color. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a lot off. But that's okay. I'll try to work with it some kind of way because, um, like I mentioned, the price was a great price. Now I know what color I would wear in, um, well, I can get a little bit closer to finding a true color with um, NYX Cosmetics. Um, I think it's going to be a quite a long time before I actually purchase um, foundations online again, unless I know exactly what color I'm needing so when we come to foundation again i got the mineral set it and don't fret it this is the matte finishing powder i got this here and i have this in the color medium dark this is it here i don't know if you can see it much but that's the color and it's a little bit darker than what you see online of course on the um camera it's not this light it's much darker so I got that. And then I got two matte eyeshadows. I got these eyeshadows because I use um, Dance With Ties most of the time um, in my crease. But I picked these up hoping that um, I can use this to put like um, in my crease. Dance With Ties I use as a tradition transition color and I use that most times but like I said I got these because I wanted to use them in my crease and maybe this one here might work a little bit and it's not as orange as it's coming out to be and this is another one here so this one here is okay they're from the new beyond nude collection so this one here is frisky and this one here is tantalizing. But like I said, it's not as orange. This one here is more rustic, rusty, more brown in it than what is showing on camera. And they're both really quite similar when you look at them on the camera. You can see the big difference. But looking at them this way, they look a lot alike. But I bought these. And again, the sale was, I mean, it was just great. I had to get them. I had to get them. Okay, so um, a place I used to love to go into when I was in New York was Walgreens. I don't get to Walgreens as much. There is one near where I shop, but we don't really get into that one too much. I only go there when I'm looking for something, and I went there looking for something. But anyway, I got me a pair of comfortable socks, only a dollar. 
Yeah, they had a whole lot of different styles and I hope to get some more because these socks are so comfortable to wear around the house. I love them, I love them, I love them. And then from um, the store on that visit, I picked up these. And you've probably already seen them. Um, and you know what I realized? And I think I'm going to check, but then I wouldn't be able to know because um, a lot of my little wet and wild palettes are back in New York. I think I just repurchased them and they just look different. Because I looked at the names. I'm like, hold on, I know those names. This one here is Nude Awakening. It's, and it does say, now I see it says New Look. Yeah, I already have these, but that's okay. This is um, <laughs> Nude Awakening. Now I just see it says New Look. So it is the same palette, but this one here is not a basic peach. But this one just says New. So this one says New Look. Yeah, so I probably already have this one. And then this one says um, New. Not a basic peach. And this one always, this one here also says new. New formula, new look. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I've been duped. I already have these already because I sure know the name Comfort Zone. Yeah, they just changed the look. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Because they were in New York, so I definitely can use them. And I definitely, definitely want to get into this one right here. Pretty, pretty colors. That's what made me buy them. So I got those when I went to Walgreens. Now something else I picked up um, because Wet n Wild is one of my most favorite, um, excuse me, drugstore brands. And they always have something. Tell me I'm not lying when I say you go into a store, they always have a pretty display that will stop you and you just have to get everything you see, whether or not you're going to use it <laughs> or not. So I picked up four of their highlighting powders. And this one here is Precious Petals. That's what it looks like. And it's pretty. Yeah. And I do use highlighters. So these will definitely, definitely come in handy. And that's what it looks like. And this one looks like a champagne gold color. I don't know what it's like. Precious Petals. Then I picked up another one. Um, this one here is Golden Flower Crown. They had some other ones. I didn't pick up the other ones because I don't wear highlight that much. But whenever I do wear makeup, I wear highlight, especially on my cheek and down the bridge of my nose. Maybe this, I don't know. So this one here is really, really pretty. And I'm going to swatch this one too. Oh, that's pretty. That's the one at the bottom here. And they are very much different. But when you think about it, who's really going to know that um, yesterday you wore a golden flower crown and today you're wearing precious petals? <laughs> I don't know. So, But they're not ex expensive at all. So maybe if you want to buy them all, you can go ahead because they're not really expensive. And this one here is called Crown of My Canopy. I'm not showing it to you like that. You can't see anything. And this one is a real pretty, like, bronzy color. Copper, bronzy. This is really pretty, too. There you go. Copper. And there it is. I can't I mean, Wet n Wild comes up with some of the most nicest, prettiest things ever. And I know when I was in New York, I couldn't get a lot of stuff because I go in the store and there'd be just the one display, you know, when it's the limited edition, and it'd be just that one display. And by the time I would get there, there if there were four, um, let's say four lipsticks, there'd be one left. But I was surprised I got these things here. And this one here is Botanic Dream. And this is really pretty. It looks like um, a lilac kind of highlight. You see that? It's really pretty. Let's see how it swatch this one. Mm -hmm. See the pink in it? And I'm going to swatch this one. That's really, really pretty. Now I have to say, I'm not sure where I will be wearing this to, but when it comes to makeup, even though it's a highlight powder, it could be used somewhere else. 
um, on another part of the face and I'll work that out. And then I went and picked these, well, they were right there, so mm -hmm. I picked these up. And these are the Mega Last Liquid Cat Soup Metallic Matte Lipsticks. I picked up four of them. I really wanted these two, but I went back and got the other ones. So as you can see, this one here is like a burgundy color. And this one's called Harbor A Crush. Isn't that pretty? And then the next one is Coral Crown. This one, the rustic color. Really, really pretty. And then I went back. Because at first when I saw these, I was like, I'm not going to wear blue and green. Yes, I am. And this one here, the green one is called Siren's Jewel. Really, really pretty. And I think these colors are pretty much coming, showing you to, to the color. And then I got this one here, which was Sea Seduction, the blue one. And that is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I don't know when, but yes, I am going to wear these colors, especially the blue one. I think the blue one is no smell, so that's good. The blue one is really, really pretty. So that's what I picked up as far as makeup and beauty goods and jewelry storage and stuff like that and whatever. But I want to show you something else that I picked up around the holidays um, from Bed, Bad, Nope, Bath and Body Work, Nope, Bed, Bad, no, Bath and Body now, anytime you go shopping in a mall and what is the name of the store? I'm getting them, I'm getting them all mixed up. Bath and Body Works. I haven't got that mixed up before because that was Ulta. You got to go in there, especially when they have a sale. Now, I hold this candle before and um, I had to get it again. This is flipping awesome. This is the pumpkin pecan waffle scented candle and I love this candle right here oh my goodness I just had to get it again my son says it gives him a headache I said you just have to deal with it this candle is oh my goodness it smells good let me tell you what it is exactly it's maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar this smells so good I think I told you guys what drew me to it and I just had to get it again. I very rarely purchased um, candles from Bed Bath & Beyond twice. I always like to try something different each time. But this one is always going to be my favorite. And what started me on the track to get these candles because I wanted to pick up a lavender candle for somebody. And I got this one here and I smelled it. This candle right here is strong. Strong. <laughs> Okay, this one here, I'm telling you, when you burn it, you are going to smell it. You only need to maybe light it up for a little while because the throat is far and strong. And this is made with lavender and lavadin essential oils. And it smells good, but you got to be ready for it because it is really, really a loud smell. Then I want to try something new. So I did. I haven't burned it yet. And this one is called Nailed It. It smells good. Oh, it smells so good. You know, if, if you want to purchase a gift for a man, I think this would be a great one. I don't know if they still have this available, but I picked this up close to the holidays. But I still wanted to share it with you because um, it's always great to share new fragrances or scents from bed. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> okay, now this one here is mahogany coconut. So it's creamy coconut, mahogany wood, and English lavender. So you can see why it'd be great for a man. But it's really, really, it's, it's not a loud scent. I don't know how to smell when you burn it. But oh my goodness, this needs to be a cologne. Oh, it smells so good. Now this one here is becoming my fast favorite. And like I mentioned, very rarely do I repurchase a scent, but I'm getting this one because it smells so good. And as you can see, everybody in the house loves it. This is the, um, but first, champagne. Let me tell you 
What's in it? It's bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. Here's the candle. Yes, we've been burning it. And my goodness. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I guess this is what champagne would smell like if you're burning it. Because this candle smells so good. Oh, my goodness. I cannot tell you how much I really like this candle. So, I have two that are going to be repurchases. And that flipping awesome is always going to be one. And champagne is going to be the second one. Like I said, I got this one close to the holiday. So, I don't know if it's something that's still available. But if you get a chance to, burn this candle. Find this candle and burn it. Mmm, candles smell so good. Just liven up your house. What's a house without a candle? Do you live in a house without a candle? Get a candle. Now, I want to show you something else that I picked up. Let me show you real quick. Now, remember guys, I told you that I love body washes. So I picked up four of them because Ulta always has that sale buy two, get two free um, of their particular products. So I bought four of them and I got, um, and I can't wait to use them. I got Lumen Berries, Pink Sorbet, especially this one I can't wait to try, Sweet Grapefruit, and Fresh Water Mist. Yes, I cannot wait to try these because I told you I love body washes and um, I had asked for some suggestions in a previous video of brands to try other than Dial and Soft Soap and I got a great, um, great suggestion so I'm definitely going to um, look out for those on sale at Rite Aid, um, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS or whoever has them on sale I'll pick them up because these were two and get two for free. And then I did purchase something else for a family member, but um, I wanted to get free shipping. So I said, let me check out what they have for nails. Because, you know, I used to keep my nails really long. I used to like to do my nails. I haven't done them in a long time. So I saw this. And it was like $2. So I bought it. And I didn't realize it does say perfect accent. You see the picture there? So when I got it and I opened it up and I realized you only get four accent nail appliques what they call them or polish strips you only get four it was like two dollars and some change so i was a little disappointed that it was only four but then again i should have read um exactly what came in the package but i still like them i think they're really really cute now you know um Ulta always gives you some samples and most of the time i just get so disappointed with the junk they send me so this time i pick fragrance and at least this time, it did give me one woman's fragrance because the last time I got a men's fragrance. Now, this here, I cannot wait to try because in their latest catalog, they had the, um, what do you call that, the perfume strip. And this right here smells good, good, good. This is the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to wait for summer because it's a nice, clean scent. And then, of course, they sent me... Um, um, Something for a man. <laughs> Prada. Which it probably smells good. But that's why sometimes I, you know, I know they sell men's cologne also. But I don't want men's um, samples. That's the only thing. I mean, I always get um, perfume samples. But I don't want men's samples. The last time they sent me two men's samples. Because when I get skincare, it sucks. And when I get, um, what's the other one? Variety, it sucks. I never get anything good. So, anyway... And that's what they sent me. Now, remember when I mentioned to you there was a time that I was going eyeshadow palette crazy? I did. So I picked up these. This one here for a while was $27. Um, on sale half price. And then I got this one here because I just wanted to get something from the chocolate collection. And I didn't have anything too faced um, as far as palette. So I got this one here. And um I'm going to cool out on buying any makeup because, like I said, I don't wear it like I used to. So, here's the Naked Palette. One thing, like I said before, the packaging for Urban Decay, whatever they have, is always so, so pretty. I like this here. And $27, I figured I'll go ahead and get it. They also have, um, okay, 
This whole thing right here is a mirror. So that's great, right? And then this here is the actual shadows. Really, really pretty, right? Look. Mm -hmm. And they always give you the handy dandy brush, which they give you a two-sided brush, which is really cute. I have an Urban Decay brush that I got from one of the eyeshadow palettes, and I use it, and I really like it. Now, this palette here, I think it's really, really great because, oh, I like that color right there. It's really, really pretty. I like it. You know, and I said, and when it comes to Urban Decay, they have the most prettiest packaging. Their eyeshadows are very pretty and very, very pigmented. I don't have any problems with it, but I'm going to have to start being more realistic and stop buying makeup because I don't wear it. And like I mentioned, I wanted to jump on the chocolate bandwagon, so I got this one here. I think this one, um, I'm not sure how new it is. Fairly new. This is the metallic. They have matte eyeshadows in here and it's made with 100% natural cocoa powder and real gold. I'm not sure what the real gold comes in, but that's what they tell us. So, okay, that's cool. There's something else in here too. Let's see. Oh, there's a little package. Let's see. Oh, okay. There's a the little package here. Give you some ideas on how to use the shadows and product placement where you can place the shades at. Really, really pretty. Now, this is the palette. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Isn't it, I don't even want to use it. I want to keep it fresh and cute like this forever. But isn't it cute? That's what drew me to it because of the packaging. I never really cared to get the um scented but I'm glad I got this one here. So this whole back thing here is a mirror. And here are the shadows. Is that me down there? And here are the shadows. Okay, so I won't go on here. And, oh yeah, I can smell the chocolate. It smells good. And the, these colors are really, really pretty. Especially this gold right here. These that color looks a lot similar here in the um, camera, but it's pretty different. It's not okay. There yeah, you can probably see it more. But these colors are gorgeous. I see a lot of um metallic here. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Maybe four matte color. Oh, that's not even a matte. So one, two, three. Okay, there's three matte colors in here. And these are really, really pretty. And I just cannot wait to use them. And it smells really good. And that's a good thing and then a bad thing because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten anything today. Now, they did me kind of good with the um, samples. So let me show you what they gave me here. One this by. They gave me the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which is something I wanted to try. Not sure if I wanted to buy it, but I wanted to try it. And like I said, well, maybe I wouldn't buy it because, like I said, I don't wear makeup like I used to. This would be great to help me decide if it's something I like. And then they missed me with this, but they sent me the Shape Tape Contour Concealer from Tarte. And being that it's a concealer, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. But why didn't they send me a darker shade? But that's okay. So this is what it is. I guess it comes in these three, these six um, shades. But they sent me the first four. Why couldn't they send me the last four? But that's okay. Because you can always use these as highlights. Because I do want to try them. Because I see um, a lot of videos here on YouTube about this particular. Um, does it have the name on the back? Oh, okay. All right, so they have the names on the back, and they're light. One is light, one is the other light, tan, and medium. So, oh, it's right there, too. Okay, well, all right, I think I showed you everything. Let me check, because I showed you quite a lot, um, and I just want to make sure I showed you everything. I showed you everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> I just wanted to check. Okay, listen, um, YouTube, I showed you everything, cute people. So, like I mentioned, I just wanted to share with you guys because we're always looking for new things, something different. And um, I'm very much sure something here you could use, especially those things from um, Walmart. Um, these, the metallics. Yeah, try to get your hands on some and then um, wear them and let me know how they look. Because <laughs> I really can't wait to wear this blue one. Yes, it's going to be pretty. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. And I want to say thank you so much for um, stopping by and watching this video, for um, subscribing to my channel. I hope that you do subscribe. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. It's a lot of fun to be here. And I hope that um, you have a lot of fun when you come to um, check me out. So I am going to clean up my mess and get started with the rest of my day. Yeah, because I've been moving kind of slow today. I'm off. So you know how that is. When you're off, you're slow. You get things done when you get things done. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. And you guys, I want you to do nothing but share and spread love.